Liam Neeson, still a badass. Hello once again watchers of Good Movies, my name is Nick Pell and this is once again coming from my college dorm. Now today I'm going to be talking about the movie A Walk Among the Tombstones. This is a, another movie based on a book which I have not read so I will not be comparing the two as I would normally. But let's get right into it. The movie stars primarily Liam Neeson in the role of an ex-cop who is now a private detective. And he is investigating the murder of women who are getting abducted and then chopped into little bits and pieces after the ransoms for them get sent to the kidnappers. So that's a lovely little way to kill somebody, I suppose. The movie is, in and of itself, it looks really, really gruesome when it wants to. It implies a lot of things really well as also. It doesn't always show the visual stuff, but is able to imply what is happening, what certain things are just by how the material is presented and I really enjoyed seeing that. It didn't seem like it thought that the audience were idiots, so that was really cool. So the story behind this movie is actually really kind of simple. Like I said, Liam Neeson's character is now a private detective. Something happened back in his past which made him retire as a cop and now he is working as a private detective. There are these two guys which are really sadistic assholes who are abducting women on the street and uh, contacting their partners or families for a large sum of money, usually around a million dollars. And once they get the money, they just kill the people anyway and chop them up with the little bits, leave them in bags, and then just throw the parts all over. Alan Neeson is hired to try to find out who these people are and stop them by any means necessary. So, it has a lot of a taken feel, which I found right from the get-go. I mean, it's why he was signed up for the role. Uh, there's even a phone conversation at one point when he's talking to the two guys, and it seems a lot like taken. The story is overall very intriguing and suspenseful. I found myself on the edge of my seat for the most part just trying to go along with him in terms of how this is going to all play out and what is going to be the end result of this mystery type of movie that we have. And the pacing in the movie is actually really, really good. It flows at a really good pace. It doesn't drag on any parts. And it flows almost like a book. If I had read the book, this would probably be a really good adaptation. I don't know. But it seems like it follows it pretty step by step, standard for standard. The music is also used really well in this movie. It's not used a lot in the film, but it's used enough and it's just enough and it uses it very selectively and that works really well. There's a lot of scenes where it's just quiet and it's just leaving some acting with another actor or two and that has a really good effect on the film itself. And then at the points where music is used, it is used to kind of highlight something. The movie is also set in 1999 so they have kind of the very very basic technology which I found really cool that they didn't just move it into 2014 and adapt it for 2014. They stuck it in the time period that it is set in and I really liked seeing that. We got to see the, the 90s style of clothing, we got to see the 90s technology and just cool things that are in the 90s. They even bring up Y2K because the movie set in June of 99 and so it's like oh all this technology is going to be crap in six months I hear. So, I just found that to be kind of funny. Um, that being said, there's a lot of humor in this movie. There's not, a, well, it's not like a comedy-esque a lot of humor, but there are a lot of comedic bits here and there where I found myself actually laughing in a movie that I thought was going to be strict suspense and drama for the most part. So, that was a nice, refreshing thing to find in the movie. This is not something I usually comment on from movies, but it was something that I personally just found myself noticing in the movie was the camera work. From what I could tell, the camera work would look really, really good in this movie. It took the shots really well. I focused on things that I needed to focus on. And I don't know any technical terms for camera work whatsoever. But I thought that it looked really nice. The movie was filmed really, really nicely. And that's primarily seen in the opening shots of the movie where it's set kind of with a like a, an 80s kind of glaze over the whole screen. Even the opening where it shows like the producers of the movie and blah blah blah. It, it just does it in a really really cool way because it's just one scene of Liam Neeson just walking down the stairs and then they just have titles um, going up above his head 
and I just found that to be a really cool way to start off the movie. The only real issue that I had with the movie, and it's a very slight one, it's just that it was a little bit long. The movie seems like it's about to end at one point and that goes on for another 20 minutes and then has its actual ending. So that was one thing which kind of just very, very slightly annoyed me is that I thought, oh hey, there's that. Also for a good chunk of the movie, I was questioning why is this movie called A Walk Among the Tombstones? Is it just like a walk among the past or something? But they didn't really do a whole lot of that. And then there's actually a cutscene where they are in a graveyard, so I guess that kind of fits. But they're in there for 10 minutes, maybe? So, yeah. That's just something I just find myself questioning is why movies are called what they're called. Overall, that is my thoughts on A Walk Among the Tombstones. I really liked it. I definitely recommend going to see it this weekend if you are not going to see any of the other three movies that I'm going to be seeing and reviewing. Let me know what you thought of A Walk Among the Tombstones down in the comments down below. Did you like it as much as I did? Did you dislike it more than I did? Let me know. Also, if you have read the book, A Walk Among the Tombstones, let me know how closely it is adapted to the screen. I would just, I'm just curious about that because I will probably end up reading this book at some point, and I would just like to know how closely they're intertwined. Like, favorite, comment, and subscribe as usual, if you so choose. I'd appreciate it immensely, and as always, my good people, my name is Nick Pell, and once again, keep on watching.